Hello, my name is Miguel Hernaiz and in this video I will talk about some key concepts of the Digitally Competent Educational Organizations course organized by IDINTEF. Organizations are more than just the people who shape them. When analyzing them, we have to take into account their unique features and also their relationships created among the persons who make them up. Just like the people that shape them, organizations learn too. The changes suggested by the DCOM.org framework lead us to talk about organizational learning and view educational organizations as organizations capable of learning. In fact, one of the main features of the digitally competent organizations is that they is their ability to learn. Organizational learning can be defined as the process of improving decision-making practices and consequent actions related to it by means of a better understanding of the situation. That is, organizational learning involves strategic, systemic, and holistic changes that generate behavioral changes. These behavioral changes give rise to actions which, even though they do not comply with the organizational culture, will help the organization improve the way it adapts to its environment. If we think of schools as learning organizations, this means they create new knowledge essentially as a result of several processes. Learning from experience by progressively adapting to new ideas and initiatives. Learning from ongoing projects. Learning from the shared reflection among its members. And learning from the relationships the organization establishes with other parties. Some of these processes generate learning and at the same time they ensure a certain level of stability in the organization due to the existence of an organizational culture and a common history of practices. However, other processes give rise to regeneration by learning from implementing new projects. All of these processes are essential in order for us to understand the way organizations learn, especially in the case of educational organizations. To sum up, we can say that there are two ways of activating the learning process of educational organizations. By disseminating ideas and practices that, that would generate new competencies and by exploiting already existing ideas and practices. In other words, by managing experience. Several experts in the field of educational innovation, Professor Antonio Bolivar for instance, suggest that the current approaches on educational change serve certain common principles. Schools are at the heart of the change process. The key to improvement is designing and implementing it from a school level and not from a classroom level. The organization should see changes as a learning process. The internal conditions of the educational organization represent the focal point of the change process. Therefore, in order to make change possible in the culture of the educational organization, it is necessary to redesign the existing organizational roles and structure. The improvement comes as a result of the actions taken by the organization. At the same time, the organization develops new competencies and skills in the process. This change requires a systemic approach. That is, it should be considered as a continuous process which takes into account the different levels of the educational system and includes various innovation strategies. The goal of change is its institutionalization. Teacher professional development should be embedded in their work context. Educational goals should be met in a more efficient manner because the ultimate mission of schools is to improve student learning. According to the European framework DICCOM.org, the change process in educational organizations should be school addressed on one strategic level and thus establishing goals that will define the direction of the other levels of planning. In this way, the measures that will be undertaken will be consistent. Therefore, it seems sensible to design a school digital plan that should include key ideas and determine priorities. At the same time, it should establish further planning levels, programs, projects, or actions to be implemented in order to map out the school schedule in its process of change and improvement. A key element in the design and implementation process of the school digital plan is the involvement of the leadership team, not only because of the global vision it can provide in the design stage, but also because of the 
capacity to mobilize resources and to generate distributed leadership that will allow democratic change in the implementation stage. In this unit, we will be working on the first draft of our school digital plan, whilst we start observing school reality. Our final goal is to make our school become a digitally competent educational organization.